I also issue and I also dispose of. In addition, the ordnance officers are also responsible for safe disposal of scrap and condemned stores, including all army vehicles. The complete inventory of the ordnance would be more than 3 lakhs. It is everything, be it ammunition, be it vehicles. The Army Ordnance Corps motto is Shastra Se Shakti, meaning strength through arms. The Ordnance Corps officers are specialists in advanced planning, sourcing, price negotiating, buying, stocking and storing all sorts of supplies. The Ordnance also stocks missiles in their inventory. And off late we have uh, used uh, IT as a force multiplier to aid us in handling such an inventory. Army Ordnance Corps has also undertaken the onerous task of computerized inventory control, integrating all inventory holding establishments, command and control organizations and users across the length and breadth of the country. and upkeep of all the weapons, equipment, communication and information technology systems and vehicles is handled by the Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers, popularly known as the Corps of EME. EME stands for Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineering. It is basically responsible for repair and maintenance of all types of electronics and mechanical equipment held in the Indian Army. With the advanced technology, it, is, uh, it demands the maintenance staff to have 100% efforts dedicated towards the aircraft so that the maintenance activities are carried out with uh, surgical precision. We carry out various trainings for the technicians so as to maintain their technical proficiencies and uh, maintain the excellent aircraft that we have at our hand. EME officers deployed in repair bases located close to the forward operational areas quickly attend to equipment breakdowns, including routine wear and tear, so as to restore them to their working condition in the shortest possible time frame. They play a critical role in keeping the Indian Army in a fighting fit condition at all times. It is a well-established fact that no army can achieve its full potential in the battlefield without 100% reliable weapons and equipment. And that is where the core of EME has proved itself to be a dependable force dedicated to the security of the country. Engineers posted at the base workshops carry out large-scale repairs and refurbishment including stripping and rebuilding the equipment, be it a tank, field gun, missiles, anti-aircraft gun, Tatra truck, simulators, telephone exchange, IT systems, radars, helicopters or night vision equipment. EME is capable of performing its task in the field deep inside the enemy territory and in war-like conditions. In war-like conditions where the equipment can be repaired in situ and can be provided to the user or the fighting unit. The EME motto is Karm Hi Dharm, that is, work is supreme duty. The EME is a versatile unit that believes in innovation and improvisation. The core of EME has excelled in the field of sports with a large number of achievements in national and international competitions in rowing and sailing. If the combat arms are likened to the teeth of the Indian Army, then surely it is the core of EME that keeps them sharp enough for that lethal bite. हमने पहले टैंक चलाया था उससे फायरिंग की थी और जब उसको खोलेंगे तो पता लगेगा उसके अंदर क्या क्या पार्ट्स होते हैं और कैसे खुले जाते हैं एक चीज तो है कि यहाँ पे हाथ में अभी तेल बहुत आने वाला है 
Like it's gonna be very greasy. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, sir. The five Mission Army candidates get a first-hand experience of giving a new lease of life to a main battle tank at 505 EME Base Workshop in Delhi. Are we ready? Being novices, they first need a crash course in basics of mechanical engineering, especially the internal combustion engine, which is the heart of any battle tank. They learn about the importance of cleaning the engine oil filter after every 8,000 kilometers. Continuing to run the tank with clogged oil filter could jeopardize its working. Eventually, the engine may pack up all of a sudden and become liability in a battlefield. It's not an easy task because it's a specialized thing. It's a good thing to clean it and clean it properly. Repairing tanks and field guns calls for a unique combination of brain and brawn. Nothing else can be done now. I'm dead. Next Monday, 10 p.m. Akya presents Nat Geo Mission Army Desh Ke Rakshak, powered by Samsung Mobile, only on the National Geographic Channel. Army candidates have so far honed their skills in the combat arms. By now, they have got the hang of firing precision rifles, driving battle tanks, taking aim with mighty field guns. Navigating army choppers and blowing up enemy bridges. They now get to lay their hands on the insides of some of these weapon systems at the 505 EME base workshop. Will they be able to give a new lease of life to a main battle tank lying for repairs? Rohan, your time starts now. Armed with an assortment of spanners and screwdrivers, Rohan heads straight to the gunner's compartment and first aligns the gun at the prescribed angle. He then gets down to opening the engine housing using the right combination of tools. Only then can he access the engine oil filter. A quick change of tool and Rohan gets down to opening the oil filter housing. The filter element needs to be carefully pulled out and washed with diesel. Rohan has to ensure that the filter element is cleaned thoroughly and no trace of sludge is left behind. Traces of dirt blocking the filter pores can put the engine in peril. A good EME engineer's task does not end with just doing a good job of repairing. He has to be equally particular about showing respect for his tools, which must be cleaned and dried before being neatly stored in the tool trolley or the tool bench, as the case may be. It was a lot of fun. It was a physical task. And I had to keep in mind which part of the screw and which part of the screw and which part of the screw. Competing neck to neck with Rohan, Rudrashish has a tough task at hand. The engine compartment cover is proving to be a tough nut. The tool keeps slipping, and with it, slips Rudrashish's self confidence. Never the one to give up, he gets creative and tries kicking his troubles away. And the kicking works. I'm his competition, so extra effort allows me. Okay. 
Lack of adequate upper body strength while loosening and tightening the knots and bolts is proving to be a liability for Rudrashish. Ela seems pretty charged up during this task, as if she is trying to prove something to herself, her mission army buddies and her EME instructors. The most difficult part was to open the third bolt, which was so tight that it took me more than, I'm sure it would have taken me nearly three to four minutes to open that one bolt. She has done well for herself so far and managed to service the filter as per the prescribed procedure. She surely seems to be in a hurry to impress the EME instructor in charge of the task. I just forgot my bucket, which was really sad. I mean, I should have recollected about the bucket. But I had to rush back, get my bucket back. It's all oil in my hands. It's just fine. It's the task I have to do it. So. Kuldeep begins his innings by trying to do things differently. हमारे फौजी भाई इतना मुश्किल काम करते हैं यहाँ पर ये मेंटेन करना टैंक्स को और इनको सल्यूट है बिल्कुल क्योंकि ये काम आसान नहीं है और नट खोलने में हमारी जान लगी है Studying to be a white-collar business manager, Kuldeep has proved his agility and versatility even as an efficient repairman. Even though the task has left Kuldeep puffing and panting, he seems to be cherishing every moment spent with the machinery. Will he be back in the game after this task? अच्छा टास्क काफी बस मेहनत करनी पड़ी क्योंकि बोल्स ज़्यादा टाइट थे और स्लिपरी भी थे परफॉर्मेंस शायद अच्छी रही होगी क्योंकि मेरे को लगता है कि मैंने सब टाइमली किया और काफी ठीक रहा। Priyanka is literally going by the procedure prescribed in the tank service manual. Though bubbling with energy, there seems to be a mismatch in the synergy between the tools and the bolts. A National Cadet Corps training seems to be helping her stay focused on the task at hand. मैंने डीजल बाहर गिरा के उसको धो रही थी। जब घर पे भी यूटेंसिल्स जब साफ करते हैं, तो यू सेंडली टेक वाटर एंड क्लीन इट। सो दैट वाज माय हैबिट इन ऑयल पेंटर क्लीनिंग। Dropping diesel and lubricants on the shop floor is a strict no-no here. Not only does it lead to wastage of material, it also attracts dirt and makes the workplace slippery and unsafe to move on. मेरी एक्चुअल बॉडी की वजह से आई डिड वेरी वेल कि इतने बड़े-बड़े बोल्स कोलना इट्स नॉट अ सिंपल जोक। The EME task has placed Kuldeep on top of the chart. He is now back in the reckoning. Hot on Kuldeep's heels is Rohan, who in turn is being chased by Rudrishish. At fourth rank, Ela is leading over Priyanka. Next week, Mission Army candidates get inside the infantry in operations.